I've got something really cool to talk about right now, and it's this little guy right here, this pump. This is the Pico Presso by Wacoco, and it's really, really interesting. It's something super cool you can take with you to the mountains, you can take it with you skiing, while you're camping, while you're hiking. Of course, you do need to bring some hot water too, so if you've got a little camp stove or something, that is also necessary, but this makes nice espresso. In fact, what I would call real espresso. So let's just have a look at what it all comes with and how to use it. First of all, it comes in this pretty cool box here. It's almost the size of a shoe box. And inside the box, you've also got this little carrying unit here, which is nice. It's a cute little zippered unit and uh, you can put your device in there for traveling. So that's kind of nice. But even the box itself, nice and sturdy, a lot of foam in there, that's good. But for me, what's interesting is how this device works. The first thing you'll notice right away is it's got a real basket. Take a look at that. That is a real non-pressurized basket with a whole bunch of holes on the bottom. So that is super duper. Let's see how big that is. And it is 51.4 millimeters. So about the same size as the Longi. Therefore, you can fit 14 to 16 grams of espresso in here, depending a bit on the density of your bean. Lighter beans are more dense. You can fit more grams inside than darker roast beans because most of the water has already been roasted out of the beans. So anyway, 51 millimeters. Then you have got the unit itself. This is a pump. When there's a little bit of water left in there, it actually sprays out kind of like a, like a squirt gun but it's a really powerful pump. Then you've got the shower screen. So the shower screen gets put in there. I'll show you that in just a moment. You have got a top so that once you put the water and you cover it up, and of course you gotta screw in your basket. So basket goes in there like that, coffee inside, shower screen on top like that, and then you just screw it on there. So, but you also need puck prep, right? So what do you have to do for puck prep? First of all, once you've ground your beans and put them in the basket, you gotta tamp it. It comes with this nice metal tamper here, which is really, really neat. That is a, a nice, <laughs> nice cute little tamper. Nice and stout. Comes also with the little WDT. And finally, a little funnel to put on top of your basket and what looks to be a little tiny baby scoop. How cute is that scoop right there? Really funny. And a couple of covers as well so that you can um, warm up your warm up your unit. So we're gonna just use this guy one time and see how it works. I've used him myself and I'm quite impressed. I um, I get a kick out of this thing. I, I won't be bashful about it. It's really quite fun to use. So anyway, let's go ahead and do one thing. Let's warm up a little water and just get this preheated a little bit while we are doing some grinding. So I got this grinder right here. You can also take this with you. you. Got it set for an espresso grind. And we're just gonna go ahead and put, let's say 15, 15 grams of beans in there. These are freshly roasted beans, less than one month old. That's important. 15 and a half. Let's just go ahead and grind that up. Our water is preheated. We're gonna put some of that in here and pump it a couple of times to get it down into the bottom as well. We're also gonna warm up our cup here so that that's not at room temperature. We want that to be warmed up too so the espresso um, doesn't get cooled down. Now we can go ahead and make our espresso. All right, so what we're gonna do is put this funnel on top of here. We're gonna put our grounds inside so it's really, it's really quite neat. You can use this little WDT tool here to uh, distribute the grounds a little better. It's just a single needle, but it does help to break up the clumps and so on. Now get ready to see what it looks like coming out because it's pretty awesome. Okay, so there we have got our basket all ready there and we're gonna tamp it in just a moment. Okay, first I want to empty out the water from preheating. What we're gonna do is take this basket here, put it in the holder, and we're gonna tamp. So let's tamp nice and straight, straight down. Ex 
Excellent. Just like that. Then we put this shower screen on top of there and just screw it in. It's pretty simple. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. And now we're just about ready to pull our shot. You see, I've got the thermometer here, so we're gonna measure the shop temperature afterwards. In you go, water. Put the cap on top so that we don't slosh the water all over and so it stays warmer. And now we can start with our extraction. So all you gotta do is pump it. The good thing about it too is you get a bit of a hand workout by doing that pumping on your own. Oh, there it starts to come there. Oh, there we go. So now I've got to, now I have to aim. Can you see that coming out? How cool is that? That is so neat. I'm making a little bit of a mess because I'm trying to get it on camera, but it just looks so neat coming out of there. And you can see it is full crema. It is full crema so far. So that is really something else right there. This is so much fun to use. There we go. So there's our shot right there, full of crema and looks delicious. Let's see how hot it is. It's looking like 61 Celsius. Now to compare that, it is a little cooler than how it comes out of a traditional espresso machine. There it usually comes out into the cup right around 70. Mm. but still a nice extraction something that you could really call an espresso it might be just a little on the cooler side but even still to come out at 61 degrees is pretty good considering that this doesn't have any heating element in there of course it can't so it's a good thing to warm it up ahead of time and then add the water right away and you'll be able to get in between 60 and 62 degrees somewhere in there and with a a medium to dark or darker roast, you can get a nice extraction out of it as well. You can get some of those chocolates out of the beans and some of that, that bitter sweetness. So yeah, it's a tasty shot. And the best thing about it, it's portable. It's really fun, fun to use. The question is how's cleanup? Because I have used similar devices to this before and they were not that easy to clean. In particular, the pressurized systems. This one is quite easy. If you look at that, that's actually already clean right there. Just take the shower screen off and give that a rinse. Then you got the basket here. All you have to do is just plop out that puck. Just like that, there's the puck. And give this a rinse and you are already in business. It's that simple. So yeah, cleanup is really a cinch. All you really have to do is just rinse them off with water or dip them in water if that's all you got. Same thing with this basket and they clean off easily. And clean, dip this off too. So there you go. We are already set for the next time that we're going to make an espresso. Very nice, very convenient, easy to clean up and a heck of a lot of fun to use. I think there's a reason that this is such a good seller and that's because it just simply does a nice job. Comes with everything that you need besides a grinder and of course a heating element. But you got yourself a tamper, comes with a little UDT tool, comes with a nice case and even with a dosing ring. So very nice, very interesting products and I'm going to be taking this with me on my next camping trips. And at the end, everything fits together as well. Super convenient. Screw that on the bottom. Then all you got left over is the funnel and the tamper. Those can go in the top. Really, really neat. Top screws on. Got that bottom part right there. You could stick your WDT tool in there and good to go. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked this video and that it helped you. If so, give it a like. If you thought it sucked, give it a thumbs down. Whatever the case, thanks for being with me. And until next time, happy coffee drinking.